hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful amigurumi unicorn this is definitely a kid's favorite i myself enjoyed making this unicorn if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever i post a new video also if you find time please like us on facebook and follow us on instagram First let's start making the legs. For the row 1 we are going to do a magic ring and 6 single crochet on the magic ring. So we are going to work in a spiral so we would, we would need a stitch marker. So row 1 would be magic ring and 6 single crochets around the magic ring. So row 1 consists of 6 stitches. We are going to work two single crochets on each stitch around. Uh, so at the end of row 2 we will have 12 stitches. So for row 2 we are going to work two single crochets on each stitch around. Mark your first stitch with the stitch marker. So for row 3 and 4 we are just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around. So this we are going to do for 2 rows. So for 2 rows we are going to just work one single crochet on each stitch around. So each row will have 12 stitches. So for row 5 we are going to work single crochet 2 together for 2 stitches and then we are going to work that 2 times. So for first 2 stitches we are going to work single crochet 2 together and the next 2 stitches we are going to work single crochet 2 together and for the remaining 8 stitches we are going to work 1 single crochet each. For row 6 we are going to work single crochet 2 together only one time. So only for the first 2 stitches we are going to work single crochet 2 together and we will work 1 single crochet each on remaining 8 stitches. So at the end of row 6 we will have 9 stitches. So once you are done with row 6, change your yarn color. So I am changing to white color here and then we will start working row 7. So for row 7 to row 12, we are just going to work only one single crochet on each stitch around. So 
each row will have nine stitches around so we are going to work six rows each row will have nine stitches so we are just going to work only one single crochet on each stitch around we are going to do that for six rows so each row will have nine stitches continue working this for six rows So once you are done with that, the final row would be you hold the top of two edges together and we will crochet uh, five single crochets holding both edges together. So work five single crochet holding both edges together to a slip stitch and fast enough. So you need to make two legs. So make one more of this for two legs. You're going to make two of these. Next, let's start making the hands or arms. So for this, I'm going to start with the magic ring and work six single crochet around the magic ring. So our row one will be magic ring, six single crochets around the magic ring. So row one consists of six stitches. So for row 2, I am going to work 1 single crochet in 1 stitch and 2 single crochet in the next stitch around. So for 1 stitch, we are going to work 1 single crochet and next stitch, we are going to work 2 single crochet and we are going to do this around. So at the end of row 2, we will have 9 stitches. So for row 3 and row 4, we are going to work one single crochet on each stitch around. So we have two rows. Each row will have 9 stitches. So we are just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around for row 3 and row 2, row 4. So row 3 and row 4 will have 9 stitches. So next we can start with row 5. For row 5 we are going to work single crochet 2 together in the first and second stitch and then in the remaining next 7 stitches remaining 7 stitches we are going to work 1 single crochet each. So for we are, first stitch will be single crochet 2 together and 7 single crochets for row 5. So at the end of row 5 we will have 8 stitches.
So row 6 will be single crochet 2 together for first and second stitch and then one single crochet each for next 6 stitches. So at the end of row 6 we will have 7 stitches. So at the end of row 6, change the color of the yarn. I am changing to a white yarn. And then we can start working the next row. So for next row 7 to 10, I am going to work one single crochet each um, stitch around. So I am going to have 7 stitches on each row. So for se row 7 to 10 I am just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around. So each row will have 7 stitches. So I am going to work 4 rows. That is from row 7 to 10. So once you have worked 4 rows from row 7 to 10, we are going to fold the both the edge together for row 11 and we are going to just work 4 single crochet holding both sides and we are going to work 4 single crochets across and then we will do a slip stitch and fasten off the yarn. So we will need to make two of the arms for the unicorn. Next let's start to make the body. So for making the body for row 1 I am going to do a magic ring and I will work 6 single crochets around the magic ring. So at the end of row 1 I will have 6 stitches around the magic ring. So for row 2, I am going to work 2 single crochets on each stitch around. So at the end of row 2, I am going to have 2 single crochets on each stitch around. That is, I will have 12 single crochets at the end of row 2.
So once we are done with row 2, we'll start working with row 3. For row 3, we are going to work one single crochet on one stitch and two single crochet on the next stitch around. So for one stitch, we are going to work one single crochet and the next stitch we are going to work two single crochet on. Uh, like this, we are going to work around. So at the end of row 3, we will have 18 stitches. So for row 4, I am going to work 1 single crochet on first 2 stitches and 2 single crochet on the next stitch. So we are going to work like this around. So we are going to work 1 single crochet for 2 stitches and third stitch we are going to work 2 single crochets. So at the end of row 4, we will have 24 stitches. Next for row 5, we are going to work 1 single crochet on 3 stitches and 2 single crochets on 4th stitch around. So for first 3 stitches we are going to work 1 single crochet each and 4th stitch we are going to work 2 single crochets. So like this we are going to work around and at the end of row 5 we will have 30 stitches. So row 6 is very simple. We are just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around. So at the end of row 6 we will have 30 stitches.
okay row 7 is little trickier what we're gonna do is we are just gonna hold our legs so I believe you remember we have crocheted five single crochet on the top of our legs so we are gonna hold the legs and make five single crochet with the five single crochet of the first leg so we are going to hold the leg and we are going to work one single crochet each of the body with one single crochet of the leg so we are going to join that leg to the body and we are going to work five single crochets so and then for the remaining 10 stitches we are going to work one single crochet each for the next 10 stitches and then we will hold the other leg and we will crochet together five single crochet of the body with the single crochets of the second leg and then last 10 stitches we are going to work one single crochet each for the last 10 stitches and finish this row so at the end of the row we will have 30 stitches
so for row 8 we are just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around so at the end of row 8 we will have 30 stitches So for row 9 I am going to work 1 single crochet on first 3 stitches and single crochet 2 together in next 2 stitches. So I am going to work like this around. So I am going to work 1 single crochet each on first 3 stitches and single crochet 2 together in next 2 stitches around. So at the end of row 9 I will have 24 stitches.
so for 10 to 11 rows 10 to 11 I'm just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around so we have two rows each row will have 24 stitches so for row 10 to 11 we are just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around So for row 12 I'm going to work one single crochet on first two stitches and single crochet two together in next two stitches around. So we are going to work one single crochet on first two stitches and single crochet two together in next two stitches around. So we will have a total of 18 stitches at the end of row 12. For row 13 we are going to work one single crochet on each stitch around so at the end of this row we will have 18 stitches. So for row 14 we are going to work one single crochet on each stitch around again and at the end of this row we will still have 18 stitches. You can start stuffing your body with the fiber fill. Always do not overfill or underfill. Now I've stuffed enough and I'm starting with row 15. Row 15 again it's going to be one single crochet on each stitch around and the end of row 15 will still have 18 stitches.
so for row 16 we are going to attach the uh, arms to the body I hope you remember how we did for the legs so same way we are going to hold the arms together with the body make sure your arm and leg are on the same side and uh, you're going to work holding the arms together with the body we are going to work four single crochet with the single crochet of the first arm and I'm just working four single crochets of the by holding the arm to the body we are going to work four single crochet with a single crochet of the first arm and then in the next five stitches I'm going to work one single crochet each and after that on the other side I'm going to work four single crochet together with the single crochet of the second arm and then I will finish with one single crochet each on the last five stitches so at the end of row 16 we'll still have 18 stitches So we are going to work the last round which is row 17. So for row 17 we are going to work one single crochet on one stitch and single crochet two together on next two stitches around. So we are going to work one single crochet on the one stitch and single crochet two together and next two stitches. So at the end of this row we will have 12 stitches. We can do a slip stitch and fasten off your yarn. So with this our body um, with legs and arms attached is completed next we can proceed with making the face of the unicorn
let's start to make the head of the unicorn so for this for row one as usual i'm doing a magic ring and i will be working six single crochets around the magic ring so at the end of row one i will have six stitches So for row 2, we are going to work 2 single crochets on each stitch around. So at the end of row 2, we will have 12 stitches. So row 3 we will work 1 single crochet in 1 stitch and 2 single crochet in the next stitch around. So for 1 stitch we are going to work 1 single crochet and next stitch we are going to work 2 single crochets. So at the end of row, row 3 um, we will have 18 stitches. So for row 4 and 5 we are just going to work 1 single crochet on each stitch around. So for 2 rows we are just going to work 1 single crochet on each stitch around. So each row will have 18 stitches. So for row 6 I am going to work 1 single crochet on each stitch for the first 6 stitches and then I will work 2 single crochet on each stitch for next 6 stitches and then 1 single crochet on each stitch for last 6 stitches. So for the first 6 stitches I am going to work 1 single crochet each on each stitch and then for the next six stitches I'm going to work two single crochet on each stitch and in the last six stitches I'm going to work one single crochet on each stitch so at the end of this row six we are going to have 24 stitches
so for row 7 I am going to work one single crochet on each stitch for the first 6 stitches and one single crochet in one stitch and two single crochet in the next stitch 6 times and then one single crochet on each stitch for the last 6 stitches so we are going to have 30 stitches at the end of row 7 So for row 8, I am going to work 1 single crochet on each stitch for first 6 stitches and then 1 single crochet each for the next 2 stitches and 2 single crochet on the next stitch which we are going to do for 6 times and then I will work 1 single crochet on each stitch for the last 6 stitches so at the end of row 8 we are going to have 36 stitches
So for row 9 to row 11, we are going to work one single crochet on each stitch around. So we are going to have 3 rows and each row has 36 stitches. So for row 9 to 11, we are going to have one work one single crochet on each stitch around. So for row 12 we are going to work one single crochet each on first 4 stitches and then we are going to work single crochet 2 together for the next 2 stitch. So we are going to repeat this sequence 6 times. So or we are going to work one single crochet each on 4 stitches and single crochet 2 together on next 2 stitches around. So at the end of row 12 we will have 30 stitches. So row 13 we are going to work one single crochet on each stitch around. So at the end of row 13 we are going to have 30 stitches. For row 14, I'm going to work one single crochet each on the first three stitches and single crochet two together and next two stitches around. So we are going to work one single crochet on the first three stitches and single crochet two together and next two stitches around. So at the end of row 14, we are going to have 24 stitches. So next 
we are going to insert our safety eyes before uh, we finish off the head so we are going to insert the safety eyes um, on equal distance on our sixth row so then once you fix your safety eyes you are going to stuff the head little bit and then we'll start proceeding towards the completion of the head so we can stuff a little bit and then we'll start working row 15 row 15 we are going to work one single crochet on two stitches and single crochet two together on next two stitches around so for the two stitches we're going to work one single crochet each and single crochet two together on next two stitches so at the end of row 15 we will have 18 stitches So row 16 we are going to work one single crochet in one stitch and single crochet two together in next two stitches around. So at the end of row 16 we will have 12 stitches. So you can start completing the stuffing so I'm adding more fiber fill to the head because this is my finishing row so I'm just stuffing it and I will work row 17 for row 17 we are just going to work single crochet two together on two stitches around so if you have some gap or a small gap you can just uh, uh, work a uh, couple of stitches to close it so mostly you will not have any gap or else you can just do a slip stitch one or two slip stitch to close the gaps so we are just going to work single crochet two together and if at all needed we'll do a couple of slip stitches to close the gap and then fasten off your yarn
our head is now ready we can proceed to make the ears for our unicorn so for row one for ears i'm going to do a magic ring and four single crochets on the magic ring so at the end of row one i will have four stitches So for row 2 I am going to work 1 single crochet in 1 stitch and 2 single crochet in the next stitch around. So at the end of row 2 I will have 6 stitches. So for row 3 I am going to work 1 single crochet in 2 stitches. So each stitch will have 1 single crochet and 2 single crochet in the next stitch. So for the first 2 stitches I am going to work 1 single crochet each and the next mm -hmm. stitch I am going to work 2 single crochets. So I am going to do this around so working 1 single crochet each on first 2 stitches on the third stitch working two single crochet so at the end of row three i'm going to work have eight stitches So for row 4, for the first 3 stitch we are going to work 1 single crochet each and the next stitch we are going to work 
two single crochets so we're going to work like this around so with the first three stitches we are going to work one single crochet each and the next stitch we are going to work two single crochets so at the end of row four we will have ten stitches For row 5, I am going to work 1 single crochet each on first 4 stitches and 2 single crochet on the next stitch around. So at the end of row 5, I will have 12 stitches. So row 6 and 7, I am just going to have one single crochet on each stitch around for 12 stitches. So we are just going to have 12 stitches on each row for row 6 and row 7. For row 8, we are going to work one single crochet in one stitch and single crochet two together in next two stitches around and the end of row 8 we will have 8 stitches So once we are done with row 8, for row 9 we will hold the top of the ear and we will just work 4 single crochet holding both edges together and then we will do a slip stitch and fasten off your yarn. We need to make 2 <coughs> of these ears for our unicorn. So make 2 of these ears for your unicorn. Now let's make the horn for the unicorn. So I'm taking a regular red heart yarn in yellow color and then for row 1 I will work a magic ring and 4 single crochets on the magic ring. So at the end of row 1 we will have 4 stitches. So for row 2 we will have work 1 single crochet in 1 stitch and 2 single crochet in the next stitch around. So at the end of row 2 we will have 6 stitches. We work 1 single crochet in 1 stitch and 2 single crochet on next stitch around. So at the end of row 2 we will have 6 stitches.
so row 3 we start to work in the back loops so we is from here on we'll only work in the back loops so work one single crochet in first two stitches and two single crochet in the next stitch around everything is worked in the back loop and at the end of row 3 we will have eight stitches So row 4 we still work in the back loops so we are going to work one single crochet in first three stitches and two single crochet in the next stitch around so at the end of row 4 we will have 10 stitches. row 5 still working in the back loops one single crochet in first four stitches and two single crochet in the next stitch around so at the end of row 5 we will have 12 stitches Finally from row 6 to 12 we just work one single crochet on each stitch around everything is worked in back loop. So for the next rows from 6 to 12 we work one single crochet on each stitch around so each row will have 12 stitches. So with this our unicorn horn is complete we can do a slip stitch and fasten off leaving a long tail for sewing.
with this all our parts is complete we are going to sew our horn to the head so I'm just using a tapestry needle so once you're done you can attach your ears always use a different type of yarn like the yarn we have used for the horn to sew your parts so I'm going to attach the ears ears is now attached next we can sew our head to the body use a different type of yarn like the ones that we've used for the horn to attach your head to the body we can use a tapestry needle to attach it I've attached my head to the body now we can work the mains for the mains you can watch my uh, crochet curls videos for the mains and tails I've uh, used that curls so I'll attach um, the link of the video in the description box you can watch it and you can make as many um, manes and tails with different lengths um, and I'm attaching my mane to the um, unicorn head like this and then I will use a dovet stick or a crochet needle tip to insert the excess yarn inside the head itself so that it doesn't look odd or different so the extra piece of yarn is going to go inside the head so it will look the finishing will look mm, very nice and beautiful so I'm just using a dovet stick or a crochet hook tip to insert this excess yarn this is one of the tip that you can follow while you are attaching the main to your head so you can the how many mains you attach is totally up to you if you feel like you need more you can do that so for this main I've used uh, red heart super saver stripes in retro the color itself is uh, so bright and popping up like the unicorn uh, main colors so I've attached my mains our unicorn is now complete so I totally enjoy doing this project it is not a beginner friendly project uh, but you can enjoy making it I hope you liked and enjoyed this video please let me know your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well and do like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram thanks for watching bye